Welcome to Patriot Specialized, everybody. Thanks for tuning in today. Man, it's Thanksgiving week, and man, whoo, boy, we got to do some bobbing and weaving in order to get the, to get ourselves home for that turkey. So stick around. We're going to talk about that and a little bit more. So we'll be right back. Roll that intro footage. Prairies, Rocky Mountain highs, fade off into the distance like ghost riders in the sky. Black smoke and white lines still hold the sight. That, uh, that little clip of footage there you saw, that was us rolling into Western Wisconsin to make that delivery on the Cat 325 excavator. However, prior to that, uh, we, on Monday afternoon, we got held up by, I should have been about an hour and a half for my delivery on Monday evening. Would have put me about an hour and a half away from delivery in Western Wisconsin. However, I got held up for, anybody knows the route you gotta go up to Wisconsin. Uh, I got held up for about three and a half hours. So I lost a ton of time on the day, on Monday. So it ended up, what I should have been delivering at eight o'clock in the morning, right when they opened, I ended up having, I ended up getting there about, about 11 o'clock in the morning um, to make delivery on that thing, which unfortunately I had a load booked out of uh, Illinois that was perfect for what I needed. An Illinois coming back to Ohio got me 12 miles to my next pickup, which was a truck chassis to get me out to Coatesville to get to my next loads for next week. However, because of that three and a half hour delay, uh, we're going to call it, and we'll talk about that in some future et episode, but uh, I can't really, I'm not going to talk about it today. <clears throat> but anyways, that three and a half hour delay, um, it caused me to, to not be able to get to that load. I was supposed to pick that load up Tuesday afternoon uh, and deliver it Wednesday noonish. We had to be off the road by noon at Wednesday. That load was a bulldozer, it would have been oversized. We had to be off the road by noon on Wednesday for curfew for uh, Thanksgiving holiday. So that got a little bit tricky and what ended up happening, I just I wasn't gonna be able to do it. There was just no way that I was gonna be able to get that thing. I don't think I would have made pickup on time anyways. Um, I don't think I would have been there when I needed to be there to pick that thing up. But I definitely would not have been able to pick that thing up, get any sort of travel done with daylight the way it is and, and still be able to make delivery by noon on Wednesday. It just wouldn't have happened. And then I would have been outside curfew and, and the, we all know this is this is something we don't play with in Ohio ever. So unfortunately, that's what we had to do. Fortunately, uh, because I got a lot of people backing me and a lot of people that uh, that are paying attention to what I'm doing a lot. So uh, it turns out that we ended up getting a load so, sort of unorthodox for me. Dispatch ended up uh, calling me and asking me if I wanted. She actually found a, uh, a coil that weighed little enough that I could do it without having to get a permit. Um, I did permit in Illinois because we were concerned that the weight wasn't going to be correct or we're gonna, we were going to be a little bit, little bit overweight. So we went ahead and got the Illinois permit. I knew by the time I got picked up that I wouldn't make it out of Illinois. Illinois, I would still be in Illinois. So uh, we got that permit just to make sure that we were going to be good uh, because there's a scale right outside. Of, I ended up picking up in Sock Village, Illinois, and there was uh, there's a scale right outside of the plant. So uh, I wanted to make sure I was covered and not have any trouble getting out of there in the evening. Turns out that the scale was closed. Thankful for that. Didn't ended up not being a big deal, but we still had our permit just in case. Uh, it turns out that we were we were just just where we needed to be in order to run that load without any so uh worked out pretty good this is us getting that thing loaded on uh tuesday evening i ended up picking it up at about 7 30 at night i ended up grabbing this coil so check it out Looking for our 
cool amount. Definitely looks like it needs torque. They have um, barcodes outside. You just scan it, check in, use your pickup number, truck number, phone number. They send you a text message when it's your time to pull in, tell you which door, which bay to pull in, which I screwed up. But, yeah, whatever. <laughs> it's dark. I'm being, uh, it's been a long week, so. <laughs> it's only day two and it's been a long week, so. Looks like he's going to get it. Wish I could wear peace Like this shirt on my back Then give it away Whenever somebody asks Every time I try I catch myself Reaching for it from someone else Why is it so hard to hold on to? Maybe I'm obsessed With a hurried rush Whenever I slow down, I beat myself. You too, man. Thanks. Yeah, happy Thanksgiving. So much time I worry. The world could be a world of my day. Second guessing every move I make. I wanna try. Prettiest thing I've ever done. But it's serviceable for the 226 miles or whatever it is, short distance I gotta go. So I think we're gonna have to pack out of here to go out to the truck stop. So 
Oh, there you go. Here we Apple go. Picking up the coil. I can't say enough about them people in Sock Village. That was a, that was a pretty cool place to load. It's called Target Metals, I believe. Pretty cool place to load. Um, the people were super nice there. And no problem at all. Uh, I was being kind of dumb about. I didn't know the process. It was really neat the process they had. And I talked about that on the, on that video, but um, I didn't know. Uh, I didn't know which door. I, I I don't know. The text message they sent was sort of confusing to me. And maybe I was tired. Maybe I was just frustrated. I don't know. Whatever. But anyway, I didn't understand what they meant, and I ended up. I, I was at the right door, but I just didn't <laughs> pull in, and they were kind of grumpy. And I said, "Don't mind me. I'm I'm slightly handicapped." Uh, I make uh, I make poor decisions sometimes, <laughs> which got them laughing. Which that in turn, like sometimes just little things like that make such a huge difference. Like all that that got them laughing just a little bit, and then of course when they start laughing, they it makes your interaction be a little bit better. And it turns out that it made it a whole lot better, and they were just super cool. Uh, very impressed. Never seen a trailer like this before. Obviously, they're a coil warehouse. Um, they do everything with coils, so. Typically, they see flatbed, step deck, Conestoga, those kind of things. They don't, they don't usually get to see an RGN. Um, so it's kind of neat, you know, explaining the trailer to them guys. And they, they called it a transformer a couple times, which I thought was hilarious. Uh, in fact, the one guy at Delivery you're going to see here in a minute, he actually says on there, is that thing a Autobot? Is that a transformer? But, um, and it, 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 it was kind of comical the way they, uh, the way they reacted to the trailer. But uh, <clears throat> got that thing picked up. Got it up, got it scaled, see what it weighed. And then left out first thing Wednesday morning, super early, get over to Ohio, and Perrysburg, Ohio, which is right by Toledo. Get that thing kicked off. And We got that thing kicked off. Now we're headed down to New Philadelphia, Ohio to pick up a truck chassis to go out to Coatesville because we've got a couple loads out there that we need to uh, we need to handle for next week.
well there you have it guys there's that's that's my week in a nutshell right there um had left the house monday morning thought we had an all-day trucking no big deal would have been an hour and a half from our delivery got held up had to dr drop back a punt we ended up whole loading that coil and running that coil which is kind of fun once in a while like i don't mind doing it and uh obviously you saw the tarp job that was pretty fast so uh that worked out pretty good and then we're uh we got our coats bill loaded and we're headed home for thanksgiving so i hope everybody obviously i'm making this video right now after thanksgiving so uh i hope everybody had a great thanksgiving uh, i know i did i very much enjoyed myself on thanksgiving it was very low-key very easy going uh my daughter mckenna actually made all of our food for us my wife just had to help so that was kind of cool uh good opportunity for my wife not to have to do all that work uh, that's my week in a nutshell pretty simple week pretty easy week unfortunately uh you know things didn't work out the way I thought it would didn't make quite as much money as we normally would but we definitely got where we needed to be and got got it done which was the important part um, you know it doesn't always go you gotta you gotta learn to adapt and overcome drop back a punt whatever the case might be 